bartender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Ajo's third eye zone ability is his incredible passing skills and his knack for completing difficult plays to set up his teammates. Picked up along the boards by Pellet. The Islanders have it now. The Hurricanes take over on possession. Great use of the wall in the pass. Puck dumped in. New York's got possession of the puck. Pellick's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Horvath. Puts it on net. Denies him with the pass save. Carolina's got it across the line. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Islanders grab possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Slides it diagonally to Thompson. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Made the stop on the play. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Directed over to Bunting. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Scores! And Click is a hiccup there on the board here in this one. Well, that's a dream start, James. It is one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get up front, and you want to dictate pace. Well, there's no way that the goaltender saw this puck. I mean, there's so much traffic net front. I mean, screens all over the place. You can see him trying to trap Bob and Weave, but he can't catch up to it. The Islanders crowd has really come to life here early in this first period after that goal. Uh, anytime that you're sitting in the room before the game, you know, there's all that energy. Well, they corralled it, and it has just exploded all at the same time with an absolutely electric start getting on the board early in the opening period. Nowhere for that shot to go through. as the goalie hangs on. The Islanders have been dominant in the shot department here early in this one in lead. The Hurricanes come up with the defensive zone draw. Feeds the puck to Martinick. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Romano. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Tosses it on to Engvall. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And the puck's kick free. The Islanders have it now. Quick feed to Sezikis. Jocelyn for the puck, but still moves away. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Here's a shot. Blocked in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Sezikis. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Fires it! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. Carolina's looking to break out. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Carolina's regained possession of the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. And the puck's knocked loose. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take the penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. And that puck leaves the zone. The Hurricanes get a hold of it. Here's a chance! Left save by the goalie. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position. Square to the shooter in the slot. He makes the glove hand save. Here's a pass down low. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. 
can't make the play, and the puck leaves the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Islanders take it across the line. Moves it to Slavin. He carries the puck up along the wing and makes the routine save. Works it across to Horvath. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Akinyemi's almost ready to get back on the ice. And that's deflected. The Islanders fail to capitalize on the power play. Nice job to escape the zone. Coach won't be happy with that. James didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion and make adjustments based on what they're doing. And this power play unit didn't do any of it. The Islanders have had way more chances offensively. And as a result, they're leading in this one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And then banks off a stick. Martinick's taking it from his own end. On the attack along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Orla. And they continue to apply pressure here. Here's a chance. And swallows that shot up right in the team logo. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Pachot's won the faceoff. The Islanders take it along the wall. And that's knocked away by Orlov. Quick pass to Nosen. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. And it's knocked away with a stick save by the goaltender. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Past the midway mark of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. New York's won the faceoff at center. And now he moves it quickly to Riley. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Shea. Right up Main Street and on the attack. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Enval. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Shea. Gaining momentum up along the side. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And it's kicked away. The Hurricanes ready to go on the attack. And a strong effort on that play. Breaks it and breaks it. Puck scooped up by Bunting. And he keeps that one out. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the faceoff. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's all worked already. Takes it along the wall by Clutterbuck. And he slides it quickly to Pellet. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Nice dish from the left wing. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Forces the turnover. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving. And when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Slides the puck across to Ajo. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. And they send it down the ice. Tries to feed it over to Burns. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. 
Pumps it away in his own end. Scores! Putting the special in special teams, they take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, uh, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. Carolina's gone up by one in the back half of period number one. And they're really starting to assert themselves now here, Cheryl. You said it. They've been assertive and they've been dominant in terms of shot share here, James. When they see an opening, they are taking it. And their opponent really doesn't know what to do. The Islanders going to work on offense. And that skips away. covers things up. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Hurricanes are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Taken by Ajo. Play with the dead penalty coming up. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck in the top. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Pajot's got it across the line. Quick pass across to Thompson. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. And the puck clears the zone. Quick feed to Nelson. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Fantastic save! The goaltenders have the last line of defense for a reason. This son, he bails his team out. Hammers a shot, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Quick shot! Tremendous stuff by Kachetov! They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. A little four-on-four -four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier. And if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. And it's a quick pass to Burns. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Carolina's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Another face off looming here on this power play. New York's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And they'll dump it in. New York's got the puck shorthanded. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Carolina's got it in the neutral zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Here's a shot! Takes a but shot! It. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. Here in the late goings of the period... Carolina's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Hurricanes win the draw here in the neutral zone. Angles it over to Horvath. Picked off by Natchez. Carolina's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They've got to find a way to generate some offense.
Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. Moves it on over to Pullock. And he loses control here. Quick feed to Nelson. Moves the puck. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Uh, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Sisikis. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it quickly over to Ajo. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Engvall's gained the line and on the attack. Quick pass over to Slavin. Shot! He hangs on just as time runs out. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too, and we're coming back with period number two right after this. Barcode on your ticket today to earn points for attending tonight's game. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Islanders with a flat start to that opening frame, James. They really didn't manage the puck. It was real sloppy and scrambly, and they're going to have to find a way to correct that if they want to get back in this game. Picked up along the boards by Ajo. Shot! Here's a shot! And there's a glove save on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Hurricanes have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Breaks up the play by getting in front of it. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. jammed up and the winger grabs the puck enters the offensive zone from the left great hits up right with a stick by Natchez oh it serves up a little too sweet with that save grabbed along the board by Bunting quick shot makes the save and they'll cover it up forcing a stoppage in play the draw from the blue line they take control of it takes a shot here's a back in denies him in close tremendous pressure here in the offensive end misses picked up the puck in the corner puck along the boards another pass intercepted sends it in on the attack the hurricanes will play it in their own end Here's a short pass to Martinick. Here's a chance on the attack. Shot! Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes a save. Carolina's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. The Hurricanes take possession off the faceoff. Let's get the call. Holtstrom's been nabbed for tripping. A 
I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line. Let's go! And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. dictating the play all over the ice and then they're executing on their opportunities it's the reason why they hold the lead now a quick pass to Marcel great poke check on the reach Moose is Natchez the Islanders take possession in the defensive end Horvath's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air signaling penalty moves it around along the half wall the goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Let's see the call here. Drury's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Islanders have it now. Has some good footwork to kick it away. With possession along the wall. Here he is on the backhand. And that's turned aside. Tries to get the puck to Pajo. Takes a shot. The score! For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice and that's how they get the goal. The Islanders desperately needed that and Cheryl, I know I sound like Captain Obvious on that one. Well, two-goal deficit is certainly better than a three-goal deficit, James. I know I'm Captain Obvious as well there. But finding a way to get it done, there's a lot of time left in this game for them to claw their way back in. It just takes one to reset the sale. Oh, that has some heat on it. He makes the save. Carolina's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net. And they lead here in this second. Five minutes, 22 seconds. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Denied by the defender. Quick pass to Inval. And that's knocked away. From the slot. Oh, he hit it all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. New York's got the puck along the wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Puck grab by Holmstrom. Passes it over to Engvall. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Slides it diagonally to Martinick. Takes it to the net. Nice save from point blank range. With the steal. Now he takes it over the line. Good check. Frees the puck up. Scrum along the boards. And that's intercepted by Romanov. Works it across to Stahl. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And he takes the pass. Great pass from off the right side. And he slides it quickly to Shea. Turns it aside with the glove. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Hurricanes lead at 4-2. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Puck picked up by Horvath. Dropped him in the open ice. Picked up along the wall by Nelson. 
The Hurricanes will play it against the boards. The Islanders have it against the wall. Penalty coming up. Moves it to the middle. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there's motion, everything seems directed at the net. Pushes it across to Clutterbuck. Reaches out and uses the stick. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Horton. Denies him with the pad. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And makes the save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Pachot is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Off the face, off they take the puck. The Hurricanes will play from the defensive zone. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Well, goaltenders are just so good in this league, James. If they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net. On this power play, they do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. Carolina's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Moves it quickly over to Svechnikov. Great reach with the poke check. Oh, oh, a save! Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. But your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. The Islanders get a hold of the puck off the draw. Here's a short pass to Pajo. Uses the force on that hit. this team James they're getting flown out right now you got to look at it as a game within a game winning this offensive zone faceoff and trying to get a quick punch on net Carolina's got the puck steps into the offensive end Shot. oh what a save in front a timely save is everything to your team and this goaltender he bails his team out the Hurricanes have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it to Bunting. Receives the pass. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Shea stick handling in his own zone. Quick pass to Bunting. And now it's grabbed by Drury. And he slides it quickly to Bunting. The Islanders gain possession. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. When you're the culprit and you're going to the box for the second time in one period, you recognize that you've also compromised your team here. It's a team sport, and man, they're not happy right now. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play creates so much energy, and when it's just average, you can feel a bit deflated. Everyone expects a power play to score all the time. Guess what? It doesn't. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Carolina's got 
possession while undermanned. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. He's got a step! And he makes the save with ease. Quick feed to Paul Berry. New York's got it along the wall. And that doesn't reach the net. Carolina's penalty killers get a hold of it. New York's gained possession along the boards. Huge steal in his own end. They clear the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. And he moves it up to Riley. New York's on the attack. Puck scooped up by Riley. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. They get it out of the defensive end. Carolina's back to even strength. In the game of hockey, you can't worry about what happened on your last PK. You gotta get out there and you gotta find a way to do it. Otherwise, the coach is gonna put another unit out there. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Slavin. He was totally locked in on that play. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn up a little gear, and they have done that here. This is to Riley. Oh, wow, does it again. I'm not sure how he saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. Carolina's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized on plenty as they take a sizable lead here late in the second. Stop by the goaltender. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Hurricanes have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Gets a pound on it, what a stop by Kuchikov! Looking to make something happen at center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Taken by Clutterbuck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Pulak. Handles the pass. Denies him with the pad. Stuffs him again. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carolina's crossed the line and on the attack. Puts it on net. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Nice zone entry from the left. Here's a short pass to Horvath. Oh, great save by Kuchikov! The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wall. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he keep it out? Drury's got it through center. Let's go! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? New York's got a hold of the puck. Pallet's got it against the boards. Tries to feed it over to Sizikis. Blocked in traffic. Taken along the wall by Pallet. Skates to the crease. Oh, a step nine by Kuchikov! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's broken up by Svechnikov. The Hurricanes have been the better team tonight by far. I mean, this is coming right off of without the puck. They know when to close, they know how to intercept, and it's all because of their awareness and stems from their positioning. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth and they'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game.
drop the puck here in period number three. It has been a thorough dismantling for the first 40 minutes. Let's see if they can try to change that here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Islanders are behind after two periods, James, and it's no surprise here. They're not managing the puck. They're not transitioning, and if you give it away, you can't generate any offense. Here's a shot! Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Moves it to Nelson. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The Islanders take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, I thought he was going to be beat, and he somehow got a piece of that. Quick pass to Marcel. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kuchetov. Face off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out. And, of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in, and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender's side, you got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give them some rest. Quick feed to Marcel. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Thompson. Oh, big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Great reach with the poke check. The Hurricanes pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Jarvis is back on the ice. Not much rest for him as he is creating a majority of the momentum for his team tonight. Real gifted offensively. A lot of traction in the offensive zone. New York's had no shortage of offensive scoring chances, but they still trail here in this third period. Puck grab by Pellet. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Martinick. Handles the puck. Can't save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Takes a shot.
They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the sentiment tied him up. The Hurricanes are in transition. Off the left wing and into center. And Flyer Hall down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Takes the feed. Carries it in. Nice pick check. to go to work now as the penalty expires. Slides it over with pace to Horvat. Drives it to the crease. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low spot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And that turns off a body in traffic. And the puck clears the zone. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. The Hurricanes are back to even strength as the PK unit comes up large. Well, that's an effective PK, James. You have to know exactly how to read it. And its ability to anticipate and have a great stick. Thought that their stick position was excellent. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Quick feed to Slayer. He carries the puck up along the wing. Picked off by Paul Mary. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Good hit on the play. Picked up along the boards by Sveshnikov. Campbell's on the poke kick and it pays off. Puck picked up by Karabina. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Karabina. New York's line share now in the offensive end. The centering feed picked off in front. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Carolina's top trio continues to impress James. They've had a lot of motion in the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun showing that chemistry, a lot of zip. And they've been productive, a reason why they're on top. They took it up with a stick in the defensive end. Turns him away. Split feed. Spechnikov's picked up a few assists in this game, and his team is leading. I mean, when the puck's on his stick, he's making things happen. His awareness, his ability to thread the needle, it's off the charts tonight. Moves into the slot. Oh, what a save with a move. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Tara Biden. Martinick's got it in the defensive end. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Sends the pass over. And he takes the dish. Slides the puck over to Stahl. Good hit on the play. Quick shot. Almost that one. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Puck scooped up by Clutterbuck. His reflexes on display tonight. Steps inside. Good defensive stop at the poke check. New York started against the boards. And it's a quick pass to McLean. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Slavin. Burns picking up steam. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Here's a short pass to Thompson. Now a quick pass to Martin. Picked up along the wall by Clutterbuck. Oh, what a big time stop by Kuchetkov! New York's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Pachot's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. The Hurricanes are on the attack. Sent into the offensive zone. 
Moves it to Drury. Oh, stops it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save. Incredible, James. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. The Islanders are running out of time to even things up here. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they trail late in the third. Pajot's won the draw inside his own end. Looks to pass it to Lee. They've got some momentum here. Comes up with a monster save in front. Quick pass to Riley. Slides it back to the blue line. And that shot dies in traffic. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Here's a chance. Takes the pass. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Kotkaniemi. Nosen swooping in on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Pesci. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Barzell. Takes it to the net. Oh, what a slick stuff by Pachetov. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Aho's been exciting again tonight, guys. He gets in on the box score, and you can bet he'll feel satisfied with his contributions. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Intercepted in the offensive end by Barcelona. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. I don't think the PKers are going to be blocking any shots on this one, James. I know I wouldn't be. Just look at the score of this game. It's over. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. Here's a short pass to Riley. Some great thievery in the open ice. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Hurricanes gain possession. Fires one on goal. And that was off the player in front. Trying to get it out of their own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Kulak's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a pass in front, and it turns off a twig in front of the net. Stahl's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Hurricanes win the draw. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Kept in at the line. Great heads up play, and the power play continues. Yeah, and frustrating for the PK unit. You get that puck on your stick. You got to be hard and heavy on it. Quick release and find the open ice to get the clear, James. That's unacceptable. Quick pass across to Paul Mary. seconds tick away and these fans are not pleased with what they've seen tonight. The Islanders continue to trail here late in this third period despite several scoring chances tonight. They win the face off here in their own end and take possession. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Still has possession. Big save right at the end.